so three artists that have influenced my musicality. Forgive the glare. So, um, where do I start? Let's go 1992, uh, Christmas, when I got this uh, boombox, uh, stereo things, uh, thingamajig, whatever it was back then, what do you want to call them? And I had a Boys to Men Cooley High Harmony CD sitting on the top of it. That group and that album was the first music musical thing that kind of like shaped what I wanted to do, if you want to be honest. So I listened to that record for a solid, I know, six, six and a half months. I know until my mama got tired of hearing it and she came in my room and gave me the um, John P. Key Wash Me CD. Now, I'm from Alabama, so a lot of CDs didn't make it to us the same time they made it everywhere else. So I think it was like 92, I got Wash Me. And I think the same said year I might uh, experience We Walk By Faith. Well, those two albums, uh, the, those two albums in particular, Cooley High Harmony, Boys the Men, and the Wash Me John P. Key record shaped like my, what I wanted to do. It wasn't until I got older that I would, that I really got into James Brown and Ray Charles. I know that's too many artists, but just their showmanship, the precision of James Brown and and how he commanded the crowd, all of that beautiful stuff, man. Those sounds, those 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 uh, placement things, all those things are pretty much what shaped my mus musicality. And then, not to mention, I had the privilege of being raised by John P. Key when I was a teenager, and um, just the the mind that he has, and it's amazing, just how everything has its place, everything has a place it needs to be in, and you have to follow the structure. St play the song, play the song, stay in the park, play the song. Uh, more than anything, that, all of that, like, and if you had to go genre by genre, I could go on and on for days of different artists, from Donny Hathaway to Ella Fitzgerald, to the Bee Gees, to the Beatles, to Hall & Oates. Man, there's so many great artists that have that I've listened to throughout time and over the years that have really shaped the sound of Robert Copeland and and you can't forget gospel music and quartet and all of those good things. It's just the grittiness of it all and I'm grateful. That's my musicality. That's what shaped me and how I do what I do in my living room, chilling on my couch, talking to the people. Bless y'all good people, man. Love y'all.